right, this is fifth grade, module two, lesson 14, where we are continuing to use multiplication to solve some measurement problems. And in this problem, we're being asked to convert from one measurement to another. Now, this first one is kiloliters, right here, to liters. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a picture of that 2.7 kiloliters. So there's one, two, and then an extra 0.7. So that's 2.7. And then these are kiloliters. Whoa. Kiloliters. K-L, K-L, K-L. And uh, we need to know, so we can look it up on our reference chart if we need to, that there's a thousand liters for every kiloliter. A thousand. So that means for every kiloliter, you just multiply by a thousand. So if we have 2.7 kiloliters, we're going to multiply that by a thousand and that'll give us the number of liters. Well, multiplying 2.7 by 1,000 is really easy. You just move that decimal one, two, three places. So we end up with 2,700 liters. Uh, same exact problem here, only instead of kiloliters, we've got kilograms. So we would multiply 9.13 times 1,000, and that moves this decimal three places to the right, giving us 9130. And then this last one, tons. We're, we're turning tons into pounds. And so if we're going to model this, we've got zero tons. Then we've got one ton, and then we've got 0.3, so we've got 1.3 tons. And we know that each ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. And so you take the number of tons, and you multiply by 2,000. So 2,000, in this case, 1 times 1.3, and we're going to multiply 3 times 0, 3 times 0, 3 times 0, 3 times 2. We'll put a 0 here because we're going to pretend this is in the tens place. So 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 2 is 2. And we add, and we get 26,000. But we have to divide by 10 because we pretended that we multiplied by 10 here, so now we have to divide by 10 here. That gives us 2,600 pounds. In our last problem of this video, a standard hot tub holds 2.3 kiloliters of water. After filling up two of nine hot tubs, Johnson's water, uh, Johnson's water service truck empties. How many liters of water are still needed to fill the remaining tubs? So first off, what we're going to do is let's draw those nine hot tubs. There's our nine hot tubs. And we're told that in upon filling these two, that equals 2.3 kiloliters of water. And then it says, how many liters are still needed? Well, so we've taken care of this stuff. That's 2.3. So one way to do this is to just kind of creep up on the answer. These two water tubs would be 2.3 kiloliters. These two water tubs would be 2.3 kiloliters. These two water tubs would be 2.3 kiloliters. And then what is this last one? Well, it's going to be half of 2.3, which is 1.15 kiloliters. 
So now all we have to do is add these up. So a quick way to do that would be to do 2.3 times 3 We get 6.9, and now we're going to add 6.9 to 1.15. Nothing here, so we're going to imagine that to be a 0. So 0 plus 5 is 5, 9 plus 1 is 10, carry the 1, 1 plus 6 plus 1 is 8. So the answer is there's 8.05 kiloliters in the remaining seven water tubs. Uh, water tubs? No, the hot tubs. And that is lesson 14, where we use multiplication of decimals to deal with various measurement problems.